going on my friends dj low stacks here welcome back or to the channel today what i want to do is take a deep dive into vibo 2.0 we're currently operating on vibo i think it's 2.10.10 is the current version so if you're on a, a later version than that or a newer version this might look a little bit different but i wanted to jump in and kind of show you guys i've been using this this platform for a few years now and i really love it and I want to show you some of the things that it can do for you and your business and uh, why I think it's such a just crucial, crucial tool for uh, the success of me and my brand. All right, so when you first log into Vibo, this is what you're gonna see here. This is my home screen. As you can see, I've had 141 events. We've got 64 events coming up. If you were to create a new event, you would go to create new right here. You'd pick your title, the type of event that you wanna have. We'll just do a test. We'll do YouTube test where it's gonna be a wedding. There's different templates. So these are two templates that I created that I use, but anybody that's a Vibo user can submit their templates to be shared. So you can use any of these templates here, or you can completely customize your own. So let's just go with my regular wedding template that I use, the location, you select that, and it'll actually search the location based off Google. And the date, we'll say that this wedding is gonna be Tomorrow, you can do active or pending. So we're gonna do create event here. And here it is. So actually I robbed this photo. This is a uh, little template that Rick Webb created. So um, use that, I just insert that. That way it gives them, reminds them, hey, they can customize this and change their photo. From there, I can manage DJs. So I can pick any of my DJs. You can have more than one DJ assigned if we wanted to. For now, it's just me. You can add your start and finish times. And then when you're ready to invite guests, so invite the couple, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to people. You're gonna click add people. You can add a contact, invite by email. You can copy the link. So a host link is going to be the couple, right? So bride and groom. Guest link, if you wanted to send it to like bridesmaids, grooms, and that type of thing, that's what you would do there. So if you're gonna invite by email, you do invite, it has this cool little message. You just copy and paste the couple's email address in there, hit send, and it sends them an invite. From there, they just click the, the link, download the, the app, and boom, they're ready to go. So as far as timeline and music goes, so this is gonna be our view. So our view is a little bit different than the client view. And obviously my template is not quite as updated. They've made some updates, uh, some different things that you can you can add that I don't actually have in, um, in this particular template where they have it actually kind of sectioned off by ceremony, reception, that type of thing, just to keep it a little more organized. But what's really cool is if you go in here, so like general info, this is going to be the general info of the event. So attendees, uh, color palette, honeymoon, social media tags, basically any question that I've ever had to have answered before I have in here. Then you're going to select like prelude music here. So there's questions based on prelude ceremony time. When that begins, if they want to have any special notes there, they can add some notes, family processional. Say they're having a hard time choosing the song. You're going to go in here to add song. You can search, or you can search by these song ideas. So ceremony processional ideas. Here's some just suggestions that Vibo has in here for family processional songs. So that's pretty cool. For all these categories, there's gonna be those suggestions like that. So for like bride going down the aisle, say the bride's having a hard time choosing a song, she can go in here and she can pick from all these different suggestions. So classical ones, you know, just your traditional fun, funky kind of ones. Lots of suggestions for all this different stuff. So once you get into like cocktail, so as far as guests being part of the app, they can contribute to, co contribute to cocktail, dinner, and open dancing. 
and you can tell that by public so you can make any of these sections public but by default the only public sections are open dancing dinner and cocktail so once they have all this information entered and it's complete you can actually also another thing you can drag drop move all these sections around completely customize it say they're not going to do a cake cutting you can delete cake so we're not having a cake cutting we'll delete that we're not going to do a garter removal we're going to do a garter toss though so we'll delete the garter removal we'll leave the garter toss if they want to put their custom songs in there they can and say for like first dance let's find first dance here so say first dance they want to do it Right here, we're gonna do bride and groom entrance. We're gonna go right into the first dance. So for first dance, if they wanna have some notes, hey, start first dance at two minutes, 30 seconds, or cut it at two minutes, 30 seconds, whatever. They can add those notes in there for us. And then, let me see here. We'll save those changes. We're not gonna do father, daughter, mother, son before dinner. So we're gonna move those to after dinner. There we go. Toasts are gonna to be before dinner though. So we're gonna do welcome speech. So who's gonna give the welcome? Uh, let's see, brides, father, Jim. There we go. So we do that, it automatically saves it. Toast, same thing, they'll answer those questions. And that's basically the view here from, from our end. It looks a little, like I said, it looks a little different from the couple's side because it is on the app, on the phone. But as far as prepping goes, there's a bunch of different ways you can go about this. So I don't actually have the um, file reader installed on my computer. But what that will do is that'll actually, it will, it'll basically pull songs that you have on your computer and use that as a database for um, finding the tracks and things like that. You can export to Serato crates, that type of thing. Um, I don't do a lot of that because I kind of combined Vibo with Crate Hackers a little bit and how I do it, I'll show you in a minute. But as far as the prep goes, the PDF, this is going to be all the information that you need for the event. You can select what you want to export. You can cl click these things, unclick them, export the PDFs, that type of thing. I'm going to show you that on a event that I'm getting ready to do. So let's switch over to that. We'll go to events and we'll go to Heather and Mike. So they're getting married this upcoming Friday. So in a couple days here, uh, and they have almost everything done. They've got all their planning questions done and they've got 17 out of the 20 song selections picked. So we should be pretty, pretty good there. So if we click in here and look, you can see they've got prelude in there. They've got some notes. So yeah, they want to please announce that it's an unplugged ceremony. Also announce that no social media posting of any photos taken until after the couple posts their professional photos. So basically what they're saying is they want me to make an announcement for the, nobody to post to social media until after they've posted. So here we got family processional, you got notes in there for that, all that type of stuff as you can see how that looks. So I won't bore you with that part, but what I do wanna show you is how I export my songs to spotify so i use spotify some people might think it's cheating but i use spotify for my ceremonies my dinner music and some of my formality music too um if it's like an obscure song that i just don't feel like paying for i just use the offline mode for spotify so we'll start like this we're gonna do we're gonna export our prelude tracks so we'll hit that it's gonna be heather and mike prelude so that's what the name of the playlist is gonna be in spotify so we'll hit export to spotify boom it's done Let's go over to Spotify here. There it is, Heather and Mike Prelude. So what I do is I go up here to Spotify and I create a new playlist folder and I rename this folder Heather and Mike. And now I drag this playlist up into that. So now there it is, Heather and Mike Prelude. It's right there. So now we're gonna go back over To Vibo, we're gonna go to export more, and I'm gonna export all my ceremony songs. So family processional, wedding party processional, bridal processional, and the recessional. And I'm gonna go next, and this one I'm gonna call ceremony. And we're gonna export this as one playlist. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna compile all those tracks into one specific playlist. Export, it's there. 
Now, give it a second here to populate. Sometimes it takes a minute. So actually, we'll keep doing some more here while we're waiting for that to happen. Sometimes, every once in a while, you gotta close Spotify and reopen it. So we'll go back and we'll export a couple more while we're waiting on that to populate. So export more. We're gonna do another one for reception. So we've got wedding party intros, bride and groom entrance, first dance, father, daughter, cake, bouquet, garter, garter removal, last dance, and we'll do last uh, that song. So these are gonna be all of our reception songs. So I'm gonna title this reception, export to Spotify, we're gonna export more. We're gonna export, let's see. Typically, guests put some requests in there for open dancing. They only have two requests in there, so we can still, we'll still do that, but we'll do this. We'll do dinner and those two, so they, they only have one song for each, but we can build out dinner playlists for them. So we'll go next, and I'll show you this. We're gonna do split playlists, export to Spotify, and now it exported a dinner playlist and an open dancing playlist there. So let's see. So now our ceremony, as you can see, a ceremony populated. So we'll drag that in there. They're all populating. There we go. Everything's showing up here. Sometimes there's just a little bit of a delay there. So we'll move up ceremony. It's right there. We'll move up prelude. And I'm actually going to go ahead and edit these names just to clean it up a little bit because it's in that playlist folder now. So we know what it is. So we'll rename this one. Rename this one too. And then what we do, so this computer right here is my, I, I run two MacBooks. So I have one MacBook that I use for uh, ceremony and cocktail. And then I have this one that I use. This has got my Serato on it, all that type of stuff. My other one has Serato too, but it's my backup. So this is gonna be reception. So we're gonna make sure we have that downloaded. We're gonna make sure we have this downloaded. We're gonna make sure we have dinner downloaded on this laptop. If we wanted to download the other just for you know backups we could but now what this allows me to do is play these songs basically offline so i don't have to be connected to wi-fi and all these songs will still play so that's how i build out my playlist in spotify and now what i would do if i just made a video on crate hackers 3.0 if you want to watch that you can see how i export my open dancing playlists and things into Crate Hackers to search and make sure that I have all the songs. So basically I'm using both of these as tools to just make me more efficient. So we're done here. We got all the music exported. We're good to go. So now I wanna show you how to export the PDF. So you go to PDF here, and I always do this section details and layout. I add that as well. It adds a few pages, but not a big deal. You hit download. It's gonna populate this. You can choose how what, if you want small text, medium text, large text. I leave it at the default of, of medium text. You hit download here for that. It's gonna populate, generating that PDF. And then it's gonna download it and I just print that. There it is. So let's open that PDF and I'll show you what we got here. So we got their little thumbnail. We've got timeline. So here's our prelude. We got ceremony begins at five. So we got prelude music. We got our announcement that we needed to make. Here's our family processional. This is their order that they're coming out in. Wedding party, in case I needed a second song, she gave me a second song there. Bridal processional, all that info is there. Recessional, everything. So our times are in there, everything that we need. So scroll down farther, keep going, these next pages. This is gonna be our general info page. So this is gonna tell us how many guests are attending, all that type of stuff. We got photo booth, so we're doing photo booth, that's there. Basically all that information is gonna be in here, right? So this is I wanna show you here when we get to, so cocktail, there's questions there for that. Everything that we needed is here. So wedding party intro. So this is where you're gonna find that wedding party intros page. If you wanted to copy and paste this information into the notes section on entrance, 
it would have it would have shown up here so that's not a bad idea that way you can keep everything kind of where it needs to be so you can copy and paste that information here but this is the names as well so if, honestly you can just look up here and see who the names are if you really needed to but what I, one thing i really like about printing this so a lot of people are like why do you waste all the paper to print that well i like to have these song lists so if you get down here farther there's it prints the song list as well where is it at here i maybe i didn't click that but there's a spot where it'll click. I know I did that. Hang on a second. We're going to find it here. So open dancing. Because I didn't have a lot of requests, it's not showing them all. Well, it's not showing a huge list. But normally there'd be like a page or two of requests. So open dancing, it's going to print the names of the songs so you can see them there. And what I do is later on in the night, I, I just get rid of my other pages and I just keep that open dancing playlist up on my clipboard so I can just reference that and see and then I also export that into Serato so I build that crate out into Serato and I can play it through Serato as well but it's just nice to have that kind of visual on paper as well but yeah that's the PDF exporter we're gonna hit we're done here with that and yeah I kind of show you around the rest of this so song ideas this is all the all the playlists all the different song ideas that they offer so you could use this to dig as well if you wanted to just try to find some new ideas for different songs. You can do that there. These are the different templates. So these are the templates that I created. You can create a new template. So if you go to create new, we're going to name it YouTube test. It's going to be a, let's see, we want to do a school dance template. Now nah, we'll just do a wedding. We do mostly weddings here. So we'll do that. And from here. You can do everything. So you can, you, this is where you're gonna add all your different stuff, all your different time. So timeline would go here, you're gonna add sections. You can build out your your whole brand new, your own, your own complete template from scratch if you wanted to. Or like I said, you can copy some of the other people's templates and just kind of customize those as well. Here's gonna be your profile. So this is my profile, my logo, profile picture. If you wanna call me, don't call me. There's my number, all that type of stuff. You can add your social media handles, that type of thing, if you want. Here's the scanner. So, I don't like I said, I don't partic I don't personally use this. The only reason I don't is because I also use Crate Hackers and all that stuff. So, um, but if you wanted to, the functionality is very similar. So it scans your music library. So that way you can you can literally scan your music library and then export Serato crates just like you can with Crate Hackers and that type of thing. Um, but the, the one feature that is missing that Crate Hackers does is it gives you options on where you can get those tracks. So that's why I use Crate Hackers for that. Here's the settings. This is how you can tie in. Uh, you want Spotify integration, Apple Music integration. So I don't have Apple Music. I only have Spotify. So I don't give them the option to integrate with Apple um, just because I don't have it. Right. So that's how that works support if you need to contact Vibo. that information is here as well. And here's also some useful links. So sales training pack, Bible marketing material, their YouTube channel. So the Zapier integration, I don't use that, but uh, I used to when I used Dubsadu as my CRM. I integrated Dubsadu with Vibo so that I could literally send an email out of Dubsadu and it would generate the event automatically inside of Vibo. So that's a cool little feature. Um, it's it's not crazy hard to just create an event. You saw how easy it was just typing the title of the event, their email, that type of thing. So you can create it pretty simply, but there definitely is integration with some of the other CRMs like HoneyBook and then um, there's a couple others that they integrate with that you can use that, that you can do some zapping there with that. But all right, guys, I think that is about it for this run through. So let me stop the screen share real quick. And yeah, guys, so that is the complete rundown of Vibo 2.10.10. Um, I didn't go over the app version, but the app version is it's very similar to that. It's just a little more condensed. You got to click into everything to, to get those things to, to open up. But I think, you know, you are going to be operating mostly out of the desktop version anyway. So that was a good representation of the workflow and how easy it is, man. I can prep for a double or a triple wedding and I can have all the music and everything ready to go in like less than an hour for three events. I mean, it used to take me an hour plus to get ready for just one event. So downloading all the songs and all that type of stuff. So you can definitely see 
you know, how much of a time saver that it really is. And for a company like us, you know, we're doing well over 100 events a year. So it's, uh, it's super helpful and it saves everybody time. All the guys love it. I love it. Our couples rant and rave about it. Um, if you're curious, if you Google search Lux Entertainment and read some of our reviews, almost every one of our reviews mentions the app and how awesome it is. So, you know, if it's a testimonial from a couple, that that should speak volumes for you guys. So, uh, highly recommend Vibo. You know, adding it to your arsenal of you know just tools to help make you a better DJ and a better business owner. So, if you're interested in signing up, um, you can reach out to me or reach out to Michael. I'll leave Michael's information down below. Basically, what you're gonna do is schedule a consultation with him. He's gonna give you a, a rundown, probably a little more in depth than I did, and just to kind of explain things for you and uh, you know get you signed up with that free trial and all that type of stuff so um yeah guys as always if you're new around here please subscribe click that like button and click that notification bell so you can get notifications of my upcoming videos peace